part up, folks. It's about 24 degrees on this cold ass morning out here on the East Coast in Virginia, bitch ass. Now I'll make this little quick video because I remember one of my coworkers, he got offended because he's like reading one of those like get rich screen books and shit. And I was like, me and my coworker saw that shit. And it was, no, he's like, what you think? So, you know, giving her a little two cents. And I would say your first mistake was buying that book. I was like, that was your first mistake, buying that book, thinking you're going to get rich. And my other coworker was like, yeah, you're just making that guy rich now. Now, like I said, I hate giving money out. If it ain't going to make me money, I really hate giving out money. And if I do give any out, it's a little slow. Like I said, I hate putting gas in my fucking car. Because that's how much I hate giving money out. But I got to do it. That's just one of those life bills. I call it life bill. Like, you know, your electric bill, that's a life bill. Car insurance, gas, those are life bills. Those shits will be with you until the day you die. Unless you want to be homeless. Or live off the grid and do all that. Which ain't bad living off the grid. You fend for your own, do that shit, buy land or some shit. But I don't think I'm all that primal beyond that. But anyways, the Get Rich Scream, Get Rich Scheme, bullshit books and all that fuckery. That plays a lot in everything. I should say plays a role in a lot in everything. And what the fuck do I mean by that is, do you think a rich person wants to see another rich person? Fuck no. Why? Because why would you want more competition? <laughs> yes, there's plenty enough money to go around. You just got to find your own avenue to get there. But you read in, you could read something and use some of that person's tactics. But guess what? All that information in those books, you can find online for free. Like a lot of information, like I've said previously, a lot of information is fucking recycled. It's just worded differently. That's it. Like today is a good day. You can say to how was the weather outside? How was, it, how was your day today? It was adequate. Same shit. Just a fancier word of saying the same shit. So that's just how shit in life is. Here, even YouTube. Why do you think big YouTube channels never, ever, or even, not even YouTube, I'm going to use YouTube anyway. Big YouTube channels don't, like, bring up small YouTube channels because nobody wants competition. That's why most big YouTube channels stay within other, like, basically stay in their demographic meaning they stay with the same amount of subscription ugh, subscribers and shit like that if like if i got a million subscribers of course i'm only going to be talking with other people with a million subscribers it's the same shit like life is all the fucking same that's what people are just not understanding no matter what it is all life plays a role in every other thing it's the same shit everywhere multi-millionaires guess who they hang out with other multi-millionaires it's the same shit motherfuckers are not gonna put nobody on. They want you to work because they're gonna be like, shit, I had to go through all this bullshit. Guess what, motherfucker? You have to go on through this bullshit. Me, I don't I don't see the point in all that because everybody I know, all they need is that one hit. That one hit and you're good to go. That's how a lot of these motherfuckers really got popping off. People saw the shit was funny, shared the video, boom, they got that one good hit. Now they popping. You hit the minimum. I don't play the lottery because that shit's a fucking scam. But you get that one good hit in the lottery, boom, you're a multimillionaire. All you, everybody needs one hit. You get one good deal on a flip of a house, boom, you don't have to work for the rest of your life. All it takes for everybody to pop off is one good hit. And that's basically what happened to a lot of these motherfuckers that got rich. They got that one good hit or that one person that gave them the money and boom. So there's no point if you really reading your books. Yeah, like I say, you get some little tips here, but all those tips you can find fucking online if you do the research. So there's honestly no real point if you buying these fucking books. Younger making that motherfucker richer. But that's just my take on Cass Debbie reading those books about how to become a millionaire and all this bullshit. You got to find your own path. You got to create your own path, your own revenue, your own market. You have to create it because it's very very competitive out here and no motherfucker wants to have more competition than the competition that he's already at hand or she's already at hand so why the fuck am i gonna give you all the secrets that's one of the biggest secret a rich person will never do is tell you how to get rich because why would i make another fucking competitor competitor be born that's gonna cut in my profit and like i said motherfuckers are selfish and greedy as fuck out here welcome to capitalism corporate america for you but i'm gonna holler at y'all keep pushing peace